Today, there is a group of Earthlings who believe they're on their way to a rendezvous with such a ship for a trip to the unknown. For Heaven's Gate, the Bible was interpreted through the lens of UFOs and ufology. These ideas about extraterrestrial contact and that flying saucers have crashed landed and that the government is, is conspiring to hide this from people. The idea that they offered was, you are not of this planet. You have been on a spiritual quest, and that's valid. Spiritual quest is good. It's good to try meditating. It's good to read different texts. It's good to try different religions. But what is better is to realize that none of those paths will take you to the ultimate. And that is to what they called the next level, which is outer space. The idea was that you would leave behind your human identity, your human level. That included your family, your possessions, your loved ones, and join them on this, this attempt to leave our planet. We don't know if we're going to take these flesh bodies on board that craft or if we'll leave these flesh bodies behind. There were members of the group who said, hey, let's try to repitch everything we're saying with the lens of science fiction. Instead of calling Doe Jesus Christ, let's call uh, Doe the captain. That year, Star Trek The Next Generation is pulling in an average of 20 million viewers per episode. And members of Heaven's Gate become some of the show's biggest fans. They all had emblems on their shirts, just like they were part of Star Trek. Now, if you would uh, hold your patch, maybe we can zoom in on the patch that, great. It's laughable now, but people really believed it. They were really into it. We watched uh, Star Trek uh, Next Generation, I guess you could say religiously. And Doe enjoyed them because he thought that it was a good example of a crew in the next level, working on a spacecraft. In a next level crew, there are no uh, human behaviors. There's no competition, there's no relationships, no ego. We're going to sail around and we're going to take care of, of planets and help civilizations. And we're going to bring peace and tranquility. And we're going to bring the sort of utopian ideal, which goes back to Gene Roddenberry's vision for Star Trek. We don't care to be aborted by the body that we're wearing. We care more to abort it in proof to our Heavenly Father that we're ready to leave this place. They we're thought a door was open. Well a gate. They thought the gate of heaven was open. This was their chance to leave the planet they didn't want to be on. They didn't want to be here. They didn't see themselves as human. They didn't see our planet as worthwhile. They didn't see our society as worth saving. This was the millennial group, and this was the end of the world. The website says if you study our material, you will understand our joy. But instead, many are having difficulty comprehending that, how a group of people can kill themselves in the belief that the afterlife can be found on a UFO. How do you feel about what is ahead for us? Oh, this is, this is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> for those that we've left behind, we're going on to something greater and better, and that we hope that someday you will understand this and you might join us. Maybe they're crazy for all I know, but I don't have any choice but to go for it because I've been on this planet for 31 years and there's nothing here for me. We uh, want to let you know that you might need to get someone else to finish up your website right now <laughs> and that uh, we might see you all again and then we might not, but we hope that you remember us as we were and not how other people are going to try and tell you that we are. And one last thing we'd like to say is 39 to beam up. Thank you. On this Easter Sunday, a day for celebrating life and rebirth, the struggle goes on to understand how 39 people could have chosen death. The Heaven's Gate exits took place over a three-day period. They dressed in, in their uniforms, uh, and then in ritual order, they, they committed suicide. They ingested poison. They thought they would just fall asleep and then wake up their souls in, on, on the spaceship. They uh, tied bags over their heads uh, and suffocated to death. Uh, this was uh, the method recommended by a euthanasia handbook that they had picked up. 
the last two people didn't have anyone to clean up for them, so they were found with the, with the bag still over their heads. 